Hi, welcome to SolidEdge 2022 video tutorial, another one of my basic part design exercises. I had to do it in a little bit of a different way because I couldn't do two reps in SolidEdge. So I had to use delete face. So let's have fun with SolidEdge. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need a profile and this could look something like this. Okay, let's add a circle like that here. Now trim and add some dimensions. So from this line to that line it should be 40. From this line to this point 11. From that line to this point 11. And from this line to that line it should be 22. Now that distance here should be 2.5 and the radius here should be 51. Looks good. Now let's add a last constraint like that and it should be fully defined and close that sketch. Finish. My second sketch should be on the top plane and this could look something like this here maybe I need a fillet maybe 30 let's see that's okay now add a dimension from this line to the center of that fill it and this should be 280. That distance here should be 180. And of course those two points should be aligned. Then that distance should be 180. And let's undo. I forgot to align this point and that point here. And now I could change this to 180. That's more like it. And that arc <laughs> really. This should be 50. Okay, last constraint. This one should be right there. Close that sketch. Finish, cancel this out. And now I can make a sweep. Please take a note of those options. No merge, normal, tangent, continuous. That's okay. Select the path first and then se select the cross section. And we've got that nice sweep here. Now I need a plane parallel to the top plane this one and the distance should be 40 okay then I want to make a sketch on that plane I will need a line let's align it here with this one here and let's hide that design body 
so it's easier to dimension so from this endpoint to this one here it should be 90 and the length of the line doesn't really matter I, I want to go for 50 close that sketch and now I can do one rip because the second rip will not work so go for a thin wall here and there you will find the rip and this would be the sketch except it should go to this direction that would be y direction or minus y direction so let's go to this side that's okay I want to go for 11 millimeter and it should go down the direction no that's the direction it went back and the side step should it that should go down bring back the, the same body and finish and cancel this out now usually I would do a second rip but that's not possible so I want to go for delete faces let's go for sort of a chain select this surface that one here this one and that one down below that one accept and of course it should heal and the healing option was on nice now from a helical curve I need a sketch and a circle so let's go for another sketch on that plane here this should be a circle maybe I could snap here yeah nice and this should be 130 close that sketch and now I can go for my helical curve go to surfacing go to helical curve select that circle here for the axis I want it to go up that's okay let's take a look it should go in that direction that's okay as well I want to go by diameter for the taper so the first one is the circle diameter it's 130 and the end diameter that's the start diameter should be 20 and the height doesn't matter and close great finish and cancel this out so for my hole I want to put it right there so let's go for the hole yes I need to select that plane here and it should have six millimeter diameter yes and it should go through all okay and let's place it right there close that sketch and finish and cancel this out now I can go for my pattern along curve that would be here along curve the feature would be that hole except the curve would be this one except the anchor point should be this one here except and I want it to be 80 instances and it should not follow the curve but follow using a plane and that would be this plane so all the holes are aligned to the normal of that plane preview looks pretty good finish and okay so maybe we can change that parameter step 
it should be right-handed that's more like my preview model yeah this looks good so let's hide the helical curve hide that sketch hide this sketch and hide the planes all the sketches and i'm done so i hope it was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel would really help you could follow me also on grabcat instagram and facebook and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye